they are my babies. My thoughts are images that I have made and people are thoughts. And so this alignment with the thoughts of God in our mind and everyone's included in that. You know, it's funny. It's like, it's not like some special thing. It's like everyone that comes into your awareness then is part of that love. And so you see that no one can stand outside of that because it's you. Everyone's you. So it's part of you. And, and so it's like, I love looking at myself like, Oh, look at this image. And you know, and if there's any push away or any kind of anything, the healing is in my own mind, you know, that, and I'm grateful for that, you know, that I don't have, like, I could never fix the screen. You're always trying to rearrange the screen, but actually the, the problem was all in my own mind. Mm -hmm. You know, it's like, I'm only seeing my own thoughts all the time. And Jesus is bringing our, us closer together to look at the thoughts in, in, our, in my own mind. So it's like this continual keeping that completely clear and wide open and empty and that I'm responsible to do the work. No one's going to do it for me. I say that all the time, you know, we can point, but no one's going to do that for me. And the, I just love, I just am so grateful. I feel like every prayer is answered and, um, yeah, just this full appreciation because it's, and so you're going to have to look at some stuff that you don't want to see, <laughs> you know, don't show me that. But no, it's like this openness and trust that because of our heart's desire to, to wake up to we, who we are, to this love, everything that isn't that is going to come up. And I'm so grateful because we watched that movie you were talking, I think, yesterday about the void, uh, which was very, very powerful. And it was interesting because I was in the movie and uh, it felt like my life, you know, and there was a point where he was going to drop down in the crevice and just seemingly the, like this drive and this desire in my heart for the truth to know who I was and and you know to to know that I'm not separate from God and it's a lot of you know non-compromise and a lot of sorting out you know as we're going along it's a sorting out yeah you know, until we find out what's valuable and valueless so we're just mm -hmm. letting go of the valueless and so it's like really exploring where I think the answer is and finding out where it isn't and so I'm, I'm removing these obstacles. And, and for me, I just know like it, my journey seemed to be intense, but I needed that, like that kind of drive for myself. And when we were watching the movie, it was so powerful because I, I felt the intensity that they had to have in this drivenness that they had to have. Uh, and then I was actually so grateful that it's over that, that I thought, Oh, I left the movie and I went in my room and I was so grateful that this, this, um, and that it was so worth it. And that just diving in and, and seeing that the ego and the fear and the doubt and all these things disappear, that they're really just, they're just, you know, there because we're not looking at them and, and willing to question, question them. And this unbelievable gift of this experience of a state of mind that it, Jesus promises us through A Course in Miracles, you know, that, that, that it's not only possible, it's inevitable. And that this state of mind, this changeless reality, is all of our birthright. And that, you know, and, and I just feel so honored and so blessed that, you know, it was all, I had to see it all you know, had to look at it all and, and make that decision over and over and over and over again until there are no more decisions. We were talking about that yesterday. And that, that it finally ends where the mind just rests mm. in the peace of God. And, and, and that's enough, that emptiness, that natural state to really come into this cluelessness and see how valuable you know, that cluelessness is and to be in that defenselessness and to lay down, you know, my interpretations and my opinions and all these things that seemed valuable and to see that actually they were a defense against this light that wants to stream through all the time. You know, this emptiness is this open space and it's, it's forgiveness. It's like, you know, you, 
really realizing you do not know what anything means mm -hmm. and that you give it all the meaning that it has for <clears throat> you. And in the end, you realize what's truly valuable is this emptiness and this unknownness. And that seems terrifying to the ego, terrifying. Because in that, then it's like, then God can work through you. And this miracle, this miracle and this glory of our, our true state to, you know, have the creator join with his creation and pour through creativity. It's like creativity being a vessel for this love and this joy and this peace and to know that I'm truly just this extension of this love and this joy to be open to, to giving, to giving it all away, you know, hold on to nothing, you know, that the, and, and it's like the, the river just keeps gushing through. It wants to gush through for me. To, is to remember my source, that I'm not the one doing this, and that I need not know the way. It's very, very beautiful. It's very, very humbling to the ego, but it's joyful to the spirit. The spirit is in total joy because it's, it's, it can, it, it's in its function. It's in its true function, which is a twinkling, giving, extending expansion and open you know, to this new discovery that I don't need to hold on to anything, really, absolutely nothing. And, and, and through the process, I just have so much respect for the, for the willingness, you know, for anybody that's willing to trust that and to see that because you will have to walk through fear. You will have to walk through doubt. You will have to walk through control mm -hmm. and pride and all kinds of things. But the glory is, is by facing it, it all goes away. It's a miracle. And then you not only, you know, you understand what Jesus was saying, like, you know, in the end, you come with holy, empty hands into your father. And that's not just once and done. It's all the time. You realize that this empty, open hands is this place where you're completely filled all the time. You're in the fullness and completion in that. And that's the glory to remember who we are, that we are just this yeah, we're not these bodies. We're not anything to do with this this perceptual world. We're just dreaming a dream of separation. And that, you know, it's a new experience. It's a totally alive experience. I feel like every day, you know, and, and, and even with that movie, I was talking to Francis about, you know, how almost like he had to die, you know, die to live. And like we have to want to live to truly live and to say, I want to live. I want to live a life that is abundant and full and feel my completion. I want to be alive. And so there seems to be this death that we have to, death of my own ideas, actually. That's really all it is, death of what I think is real and, and forgiving that and opening up to this bloom and this newness that God wants to restore my soul he wants to completely fill me with new wine. And so it's like emptying the, va the flask of, and, and being gushed with this wine, new wine. And this isn't once and done, and there's nothing to maintain in that. There's just this openness to receive everything and give everything away, always. And seeing that everything's just appearing in my mind to support that. I, I, that's what I'm so grateful about. I see that everything is here to support me in that. And, and my prayer, my heart is just to remember who I am forever and that, you know, use everything and everyone to come into my life. You, he knows the way and that every prayer is answered and, and that every God wishes us to have miracles, miracles all the time to experience our, 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 our full blown uh, awareness of being with him. To know that we're with him, that is so fresh and new and vibrant and it's full of surprises. There's, there's nothing old in this. It's all new in this because it's like opening up to a brand new day. You know, waking up and hearing the birds tweet and, and, and expecting miracles and, and knowing that, that, you know, being in our function in the end is just extending love. Mm -hmm. You know, really, that's all that our, every one of us. You know, forgiveness is my function, but he, it's, a, it's just a temporary stepping stone for us to open up to, to be used 
but not because I have to save anybody. There's nobody to save. I was the one that needed saved, you know, from remember, you know, to help me remember who I was. And this great joy that just seems to just continually be restored, continually opening. And, and, and yeah, I'm so excited about it. <laughs> I'm really excited about it because I'm excited because I guess I want to, I just want to tell everyone how, you know, how it's worth everything. You know, like, to, I just want to say, you, go for it all. You know, don't compromise. Don't, don't, don't play small. God's will for us is perfect peace and this grandeur, you know, to be in this total grandeur in this bigness, but it's not in, in this perceptual world. It's a state of mind that is new and fresh and, 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 and big. It's big, big ideas. And, and to not to be afraid, like let the fear come up and, and let it dissolve and hand it over to the Holy Spirit. And that it's just worth every single bit of effort. That you're worthy of every single bit of, of attention. And I just feel so grateful, I guess. Beautiful, Lisa. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we need to feel that. <laughs>